According to Robert McClelland, life in law is almost never smooth sailing. Long before holding office as Commonwealth Attorney General, he had his fair share of ups and downs. In Alsa TV's second vodcast, the AG shares his views and experiences about work stress. You get to a point where you are, if you are putting in so many hours that you lose perspective, you have to stand back and ask, well, how productive are those hours? Um, and could I do more to get a bit of balance? You can't be naive. Sometimes the stress that lawyers suffer is from ingratitude, unrealistic expectations, even some clients who, quite frankly, are charlatans. So you have to be aware of this and, and cover yourself. When I started practising law, I was one of three graduates employed by the firm. We were all competing with each other, getting in there at 7am, leaving at 8.30, working Saturday and part of Sunday. The senior partner, a fellow called Roy Turner, called us all in and said, I've heard you've been working these hours and so forth. And we said, well, yeah, no, a lot of work to do. He said, stop it. He said, I'm paying you for your judgment. If you haven't got a work-life balance, you have not got the judgment that I'm paying you for. Perspective, says the AG, is not the only ingredient to survival and success. He believes all lawyers should regularly reevaluate their passion. They shouldn't commit themselves to that pressure unless they, in, their, in, in the first place, are passionate about becoming a lawyer. It's like, it is like training for a, an elite sporting event. You, you have to be that organised and that disciplined. The very best lawyers I've seen, certainly the very best cross-examiners that I've seen, are people who are worldly, who um, have a broader experience of life. So the real, the real challenge for being as effective a lawyer as you can be is have I got enough balance in my life? Am I, uh, am I getting enough exercise? Am I feel, feeling physically well? Or am I drinking too much because of the stress involved? Uh, is that having a toll? Uh, what can I do for my broader relationships, my broader friendships that are part of your resilience when you have them to fall back on? Robert McClelland is not only a former lawyer or Australia's Attorney General, he's also the father of a law student. He's had anxiety about what his marks would be and he's ended up getting good marks. You will find that there will be an aspect of law that you will be able to demonstrate your own brilliance in. You don't have to be brilliant in every aspect of the law to be a successful lawyer and um, people should also keep that in, in mind as well.